Hey guys, it is Tanya. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a couple sales that I had recently. These are going to be some of the items that I listed in a couple of video videos ago. I told you guys I was going to be listing uh, some jewelry, kind of like my accountability uh, post, you guys, to um, hold myself responsible to get those items listed. Um, so we're going to do that. And then we're also going to be opening some friend mills. So I'm excited. Let's get started. Okay, here is what I am shipping out today. I'm shipping out this beautiful Laurel Birch little cat themed scarf. And a viewer bought this, Norma. She's also a fellow Texan. So thank you so much, Norma. I really appreciate your support. It's just gorgeous. You're gonna love this. I can't believe I parted with it now that I'm thinking about it, but yes, it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, and then two more items to add to Lori's order. She's also a viewer, so thanks so much, Lori. I really appreciate it. Uh, she got this beautiful turquoise beaded necklace. And it's just gorgeous. This, this is also an item I almost kept for myself. So really, really pretty. Love that. And look at this little cat enamel pin. How cute is that? I love it. Adorable. So thank you so much, Lori and Norma. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, it's another day. A couple more cells uh, to share with y'all. This is a vintage Sarah Coventry watch. And this sold for $16.99 on eBay. And then big shout out to Janet. Thank you so much. She is a viewer of the channel and she bought this awesome Italy charm. Ooh, I got a pin mark on me. And, um... <clears throat> These both sold for $16.99, so I'm going to get those in the mail today. Thanks again, Janet. I appreciate it. Okay, here we have these lovely little bird trinket little dishes. They're really pretty. There's three of them, and they all have little lids. Oopsie. Almost. That one almost dropped, but luckily it didn't. So big shout out to Teresa for buying these. Uh, she said that she actually saw me pick these up uh, whenever I was in the field at the garage sale. So she was really happy to get them. And at a great price, too. She got these for $9.99. So thank you so much, Teresa. I really appreciate it. Hey, and big shout out to Cindy Jo. Thank you so much for buying these adorable little Avon salt and pepper shakers, little bunnies. Um, she says that she has the matching candle holder where the little bunny is actually holding like a little votive. So I am so excited that she's going to be able to add these to her collection. So thank you so much, Cindy Joe. I really appreciate it. Okay. And who remembers this adorable owl pillow? This sold for $12.50. And I'm not sure if the buyer is a viewer or not. But either way, since I um, plugged it on the channel, I will just say thank you to Christine for this purchase. I hope you enjoy it. And last, we have the super cute little cactus succulent planter. And this actually sold for $11 on eBay. And I didn't receive a message or a note from the buyer. But again, since I talked about it here on YouTube, I thought I would give a big thank you to Rebecca. So thank you so much, Rebecca, for your purchase. It is on the way. Okay, so my husband went and checked my P.O. box this morning, and um, he came home with a package from my friend Christy. So Christy, I got your package. I'm so excited to open it up and see what's inside of it. Now, I haven't looked yet, uh, but I did open uh, the side right here with some scissors just so I could actually do it uh, while holding my uh, phone with one hand. So let's see what's inside. What is this? Oh my gosh, how cute. I love these. Look, they're little lobsters. These are adorable. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Christy. I'm totally going to rock these. <laughs> um, let's see if there's something else in here. Oh, cute package. I love the yellow. Yellow is such a happy color. Um, oh wait, and another package. <gasps> Jewelry! No way! Oh, I love those. Wait, there's something in here. Oh, how cute are these little bags? Oh my gosh, I love those. Look, a little unicorn. Oh, Christine, you're gonna have to tell me where you got these. Oh, I love turquoise colored jewelry. So pretty. Oh, and they're lightweight. I love them. Thank you. And these are too cute. Look 
Look at the bag. I don't know if I'm more excited about the bags or the jewelry. <laughs> these are gorgeous. I love these. These are like little statement earrings. And I love that they have the gold, the gold tone metal with the um, turquoise because lots of times you only see like the silver. So when I can find it with gold, I really, really like that. Thank you, Christy. Well, these are very like hippie chick. Oh, I love these. Very cool. Thank you. Wow, what a nice surprise. Oh my gosh, wait, there's more? Oh my goodness. There's a card. And what is this? It's an old El Paso's kit, kit pour fajita originals. What? Oh, it's like a, is it like a bag? Let's open this up. Let me see if I can open this with one hand. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Hang on one second. Okay. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Christy. I'm totally going to carry this in my car for garage sales. You guys, look, I got my own little bag right now. How cute is that? I love it. It's super lightweight and it can fold up into this little bitty, um, this little bitty bag. How cool is that? Thank you, Christy. Now I will never be without a bag at a garage sale. <laughs> Whenever they start back up. Oh, and the card. How gorgeous is this? Shoes. She knows I am a, definitely a shoes person. I know that she is too. We are girly girls. Um, I don't think she would mind if I read the card. So let's open it up. She says, hey, Tanya, how are you, my friend? I hope you're well. Sending you a few goodies and a big hug from Dallas. Enjoy. Love you, Christy. Christy, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This could not have come at a better time. I was feeling pretty down this morning. You know, we are definitely in quarantine. I think it's like April the 3rd right now. And this has really lifted my spirits today. So thank you so much, Christy. I'm really, really excited. You're the greatest. Okay, wait, D did I just say gratis? <laughs> You're the greatest. I do know how to speak, you guys. Um, but yeah, so let's just do a recap now that I'm thinking about it. I meant to and I forgot. So I love these little bags. They are just adorable. I'm probably going to reuse these. So thank you again for those. And I got three pairs of awesome earrings and these adorable little lobster socks. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And thank you, Christy. Coco's so funny. She's laying in the sun, but she's also sitting in front of the heater. It's so funny when they sit in front of the heater and it's not on. Goodness bless you. Okay, so the way that I'm able to raise the monarch butterflies is to actually plant milkweed in my backyard and then the monarch butterflies come and they lay their eggs. And then I can just, um, I guess, harvest the eggs, if you will, so and bring them inside so little predators can't get on, like lizards and wasps and bees and such. Because even when they're just an egg, they're pretty much considered like a little protein pop, uh, especially like for little lizards. They will definitely eat them. So if you want to raise them, I would recommend bringing them inside. And here is another little baby. So we are gonna add this third little guy to our other two. Okay, so I'm gonna put these little baby monarchs that I found. There they are, and they're eating milkweed. So I only saw two, so I thought I'd save them before the lizards and the, the bees and uh, the wasp get them. So what I'm gonna do for right now is just put them in this container here. We get these pretty inexpensive or they're actually free whenever we get takeout. So I always save those for, uh, you know, leftover food, or in this case, for the caterpillars. 
So this would be a fun process for you guys to watch. I guess every time I do like a vlog at the end of my videos this month, I'll just include the progress of the caterpillars. So it'd be fun to watch. Um, and if you're wondering where you can buy milkweed down here in Southeast Texas, um, I can get mine at like a feed store. You can also sometimes get it at um, your local nurseries. So, and then you can even order it online, but you just have to make sure it's gonna do good in your region. Okay, y'all, it is a couple days later and you can see the caterpillars have actually grown some. They're definitely getting bigger. And then here is the third little guy I found. He's trying to escape. He is a little bit smaller than the other ones. But yeah, these are monarch caterpillars and we are going to hopefully and success, successfully raise them into monarch butterflies. So I am going to go in the backyard and get these little guys a couple of fresh leaves and um, put this little straggler runaway guy back down there with the other ones and clean their little, uh, their little habitat. All those little black dots are little caterpillar dookies. So yeah, we're gonna clean that up for them. Okay, so here they are on their clean little paper towel. And I just went ahead and left that old one in there, the old leaf. But yeah, for the smaller ones, I try and get the small, smaller, tiny leaves because they're a little bit more tender for the little bitty caterpillars. And I tell you, learning to pick them up with my fingers has, uh, it's taken some time. You just have to be very careful. They're very delicate. So we'll check back in on them in a couple days. Now I got to get on back in there.